Hello guys and welcome back again to the Tactic YouTube channel. Although as a pretty young company founded in 2013, Cryary quickly started to make a name for themselves on the CPU cooling market. Their rising popularity is mostly based on their affordable prices in combination with very decent performance, good quality build and appealing aesthetics and exactly all of that is their new M9i model in front of us. The product packaging is rather lively and modern looking with a picture of the cooler on the front, some talk about the features on the side, while on the back you can find detailed technical information about the cooler, like its height which is 12.5 cm, and the fact that it only supports Intel sockets as you probably saw on the front of the box, and that's not all of them, but only the so to speak current generation mainstream ones which are based on the 11.5x sockets like Ivy Bridge, Haswell and Skylake, but that's probably one of the reasons why they can keep the cost of the product down a bit. Opening up the box, right on the door flaps you can see that you can get an extended 3 year warranty if you register on their website, together with premium customer support and a chance to participate in prize draws. Tucked away in this side compartment you'll find all the necessary parts for the installation, backplate, screws, fan brackets, user manuals and a full blown big size tube of thermal paste. A big thumbs up for Cryorig for including that. And of course, last but not least, here is the cooler itself. As you can see this model is not your regular example of a single tower design, which are usually based off a 120mm fan, as this one holds their 92mm fan which inherently makes the cooler a bit smaller in dimensions. On the other hand, from the side view you can notice that its thickness is pretty usual and you will get a total of 40 aluminum fins, while running through them we have 3 6mm copper heat pipes coming from the bottom CPU base to the top part of the cooler, where we have this plastic shroud which serves an aesthetic function with CryoRig logo on it. Speaking of the CPU base, here you'll find a decently polished nickel plated copper surface. As you've probably noticed the heat pipes are also nickel plated and together with the addition of the holding bracket which holds a sort of passive looking heat sink, which I would guess also helps in heat dissipation for that claimed 120W TDP of the M9i. Last but not least, the fan cable is nicely braided and completely covered in black and it's also pretty long. Installation of the M9i was done in a matter of few minutes, with a pretty common set of parts and way of doing it. As they claim the RAM clearance is perfect and non-intrusive, with plenty of space for the Asus Maximus 8 Ranger motherboard and the G-Skills Ripjaws 4 RAM kit. The CPU in hand was the Intel's Skylake based Core i7-6700K, which was actually our second or third encounter with it, and one of the first where we had a chance to get to know it better, overclocking wise. Upon turning up the rig we noticed that the fault voltages and load offsets were a bit too high, ranging usually from 1.328 volts to even a bit over 1.4 volts, which was way too high for the cooler but also in general. Although the M9i coped with that just fine, without any CPU throttle, the temperatures were just too high in our opinion, as you can see it here. I did some investigating and it seems that this is a pretty common issue with Skylake platform and the Core i7-6700K where users notice that these voltages are unusually high. We don't know if there was some miscommunication with the motherboard manufacturers and Intel when it comes to auto BIOS settings and default voltage values, but 1.3 volts and above is definitely too high for stock operation as we had no problem with fixing the core voltage to 1.2 volts where at stock values the Core i7-6700K was rock stable. Beside that, I also noticed on different motherboards and even different samples of Core i7-6700K that the CPU isn't ramping down to smaller voltages or frequencies, as if the Intel speed step feature and C states were not working properly. Hardware monitor was also reading the temperatures wrong, so there is still some room for improvement of BIOS and software. 
But let's get back on track with our review of the cooler. With 1.2 volts on the cores, the M9i was performing flawlessly with temperatures being below 60 degrees Celsius in AIDA 64 stress stability test. On the other hand, we managed to get 4.6 GHz of overclock using 1.360 volts for the cores and with temperatures ranging from 65 to 85 degrees Celsius depending on the core, which is still very decent factoring in the overclock and gain performance. These results and measurements are basically the same as the first original ones, which we took with stock values values and automatic motherboard configuration. As for the noise that it makes, the fan was dead silent when CPU was idling, while under full load and overclocking settings it would get as noisy as this. Not too loud, but still noticeable. Thank you guys once again for checking out our unboxing and review of the Cryorig M9i Air CPU Cooler. Feel free to give us a thumbs up if you like this video, leave a comment down below if you have any questions about the product and of course if you would like to see more content like this you can subscribe to our TechTech YouTube channel or you can just check out our other videos from before.